any better than this. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can view the goals at any time from the pause menu. Let's get back to Brandon and Charles for the call. This challenge begins in the fourth quarter with less than two minutes to go in the ball game. You're ahead by four, but you've driven into opponent territory. It's second and short. A give running right is counter. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up the first down. They ran it and picked it up. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. And just nowhere to go for Connor. Defense gets to him and they mark him short. They're going to run. Here's Connor. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a camper on this game. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in, and this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try and roll the quarterback out, give him a little run-pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done.